So let's say you're filming outdoors, and outdoors has plenty of nature sounds. Or you could be indoors, your AC kicks on, or maybe your LED light, the fan is just too loud. But in Final Cut, what if I told you there is one little button you simply have to activate and it will take away most of this noise, if not all of it, from your recording. Best of all, this thing is actually free. What's going on everybody? Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker here, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we're constantly and always still learning. There's a highway there, there's cars there, there are birds chirping everywhere, and I'm going to basically uh, isolate my voice with one click. So this is what it sounds like now with it isolated. Hopefully it sounds much better. And yeah, this is actually just this tiny little setting in Final Cut Pro 10 or X, whatever you want to call it. And I discovered it on accident when I was doing my Viltrox review and there was too much background noise and the background denoiser obviously did a terrible job. Automatically it would mess with my voice. I would have no bass. But then I saw this thing called voice isolation and it did a really good job. It keeps the quality of my voice as you're hearing right now. So anyways, we're going to we're going to go through a couple of different situations here. I'm going to use a couple different mics in a couple different scenarios and of course, we'll also see how well does this handle AC noise when you're in the house or in the car driving noises. So, let's get to it. All right, guys, we're back in my studio now. It looks a little jank because my sound blanket is no longer here to block the sounds coming to this microphone up top. The AC is on, the ceiling fan is at high power. This is what it sounds like if I don't speak. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the voice isolation. And now this is what it's gonna sound like. I'm not gonna speak for a second, but I feel like this thing needs my voice to kind of cancel it out. Okay, so same thing as always. You guys are gonna hear it first before I do. All right guys, so now we're obviously in a car situation and I have the AC on moderately high, plus three out of four. I don't wanna go too crazy, but it is kind of blowing at the mic and I'm driving. So let's see how well the voice isolation does right now. So now we got the voice isolation on. I am driving and the AC is on. So hopefully we are able to isolate my voice a little bit. And again, you guys are going to be hearing it first before I do. And uh, hopefully this is working quite well. So now we are using the InstaGo or Insta360 Go 2. And we're in the car. The AC is on plus three out of plus four. Don't want to go too crazy. Again, we're using the built-in microphone, so it's probably capturing everything that you hear here. So let's do the voice isolation. And this is what it sounds like now when I'm driving. The AC is on and hopefully it is doing a good job at keeping my voice nice and clean. Okay, so now we're listening to the Rode Wireless Go 2 lobbed up, and we are at an intersection, literally just right over there. So let's see how well the voice isolation does in this kind of situation. And now you are listening to, with the voice isolation on, with a car that's right over there. And uh, hopefully this sounds pretty good. We'll see when we get back to the lab test. All right guys, so now we're using the Andy Cine. Again, I am at an intersection pretty close, so there's plenty of traffic sounds. And here comes the voice isolation. And this is what it sounds like with all these cars going past at the intersection. So we will see how well this voice isolation does. And uh, let's move on to the next camera. All right, here we go with the Insta360 GO 2. Again, right next to an interstation or <laughs> intersection. So let's turn on the voice isolation. And this is what it sounds like with the voice isolation on when I'm standing right next to basically a busy intersection. So hopefully it does a good job. All right, so now we're back to the Rode Wireless GO 2 and I am next to a community municipal pool not too far away. And the reason I'm doing this specific test is because that's the sound I was hearing in my Viltrox review video, was that I was near enough where the water splashing and the little pool play area, there's a constant water splash you can probably hear right now. So let's turn on the voice isolation. And this is what it sounds like now with me pretty near the pool. I can hear all the kids talking and the water is definitely very audible. So this is what you can expect if you are going this route. Okay, and now you are listening to the Andy Cine MC1, the small little shotgun microphone. Um, I don't have the back pointed at the pool per se. 
just to kind of give you the most vlogging type of situation. So let's turn on that voice isolation real quick. And this is what it sounds like now with the voice isolation turned on. And I am tuning everything. All right, editor TLDR Filmmaker here. If you were just listening through headphones, you probably started hearing a bunch of whistling noises. And that's simply because the styrofoam on the shotgun mic was not enough to cancel out major wind rumble. And in which case the voice isolation is a no-go in these situations. I'm not gonna play the rest of the clip because all you hear is these little whistling sounds that'll come in every so often. So let's just move on to the next test. Okay, and now we have the bare bones Insta360 GO 2. Again, just the built-in microphone, no wind muff. And we're going to see how well this isolates the pool in three, two, one. And now you are listening to with the isolation on and hopefully it is doing a good job. So what's the bottom line here? The bottom line is, is that this voice isolation thing that's in the more recent updates on Final Cut 10, Final Cut X, whatever you want to call it, it does a good job. And in a pinch, I think this is a great way to just really clean up your audio and make sure your voice sounds as good as possible for vlogs, interviews. There's definitely a lot of things you can do. The subtle noises do a good job in terms of eliminating it. The harsher stuff, not as much, but that's to be expected. So in this case, I would say I'm happy that I can actually just leave my AC on, let it do its thing while I'm recording a video and not have to worry about it knowing that the Final Cut Pro is going to isolate the voice. I really hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I'll get to them as fast as I can. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.